Okay, let's take this further. Um, let, what if the user wants to delete uh, the photos? So let's add a feature that allows the user to delete a photo. Okay, we want this uh, horizontally, not vertically. Okay. Um. So what we need to do is um, iterate to a list of repeaters. Then for each repeater, we're going to iterate to a list of controls. And then when we find a checkbox, we're going to check to see if it's checked or not. And if it's checked, then we're going to delete it. Okay, we can convert the repeater item uh, into a control and then we can iterate to the control iterate to uh, the controls of this control to find the checkbox.
Okay, now we need to check whether this checkbox is checked or not. Um, is checked. Okay, now we're going to do the delete. Um, but first, we need to know the the path. So let's uh, give an attribute to this um, checkbox. You can give it uh, any name for the attribute. I'm going to name it special, and we need a path for this. So the um, string from photos to extension equal cb dot special attributes attribute special. So that will give us the the path of the photo uh, from here to the uh, to the file extension. Okay, uh, if I have to delete, equal add or combine from root to home with um, from photos to extension. From root to home, and then from, from photos to extension to the file extension. Okay, now we're ready to delete. File dot delete. File to delete. And after we delete, we want to update the the list of photos. So um, display uploaded photos. And we need a path a photo name. Uh, let's make this a uh, let's make this global.
Okay, let's test this. Okay, delete these two. This one. Five photos. Okay, uh, looks looks good. Um, we should uh, display the photos once the page is loaded. Okay, let's test this. Okay, that's good. So our Photos Manager works perfectly. Thanks for watching.